Hi, Intune friends. In this video, we're going to look at compliance policy for iOS and iPad OS devices. So in the previous video, we created these three apps and pushed. So let's see for um, compliance uh, policy. So we are at IntuneMicrosoft.com. We go devices. We have uh, compliance down here, but uh, since we just want to limit it to iOS, then let's click here and we get down to a bit less. So we have our device here that we have enrolled in the previous video. Let's check uh, compliance policies. Should be empty at least for um, iOS. We have other for Android. No, not for Android, I think. We have for Mac OS and Windows and other OS. So let's um, create the policy. So I thought we could create three different. I like to separate it. You could do one policy with all settings, but we can start one who check if it's jailbroken. So let's call this, uh, we don't want it not jailbroken. Check if um, iPhone is uh, jailbroken, is that a word? If it is, it is not compliant. Platform we get for free because we stand in this node and the profile type. Perfect, we go next. So it should be device health. So we block, it's not allowed that it's um, jailbroken. Uh, require the device to be, this is, uh, I don't think I, I don't know this one. Require device to be or under, the, no, we don't configure that. Just to see that it's not jailbroken. Action if it is, well, we can mark the device uh, as non-compliant directly. And we could send an email or we could uh, send a push notification. Why not? We can do it after one day if it's still jailbroken. I think if, if it is jailbroken, it's going to stay that. So it's not something you really can fix. Uh, let's add our group that we created in the previous um, uh, video. You could add all devices. That's definitely no problem. Even though you will take machines who are not uh, like Windows machine, but they're not going to apply to it anyway. So we select our GBN all iPhone devices. We, you can filter even more, but now we're fine. Okay, so we apply that. Let's create two more. We can create one for minimum version. So let's see already which version uh, the device have. And we can put that as the minimum version, so it doesn't uh, be non-compliant due to that. So we have 16, I copy that, 16.7.5. So let's go back to our I, iOS iPad and compliance policy. We should have one here already, not jailbroken. Let's create a new one. We can call it uh, Apple iOS, we can include um, iPad OS also. Minimum allowed OS. Uh, GBN security doesn't accept lower iOS than oh, this version. How fitting, it was exactly the version. Is that device property? It is minimum OS version. I don't know why you would have a maximum for security reason. You probably always want that. You can have different build version also, but let's go with the OS version, easier to find. So we don't have to mark it non-compliant. Well, we can do that. No, let's do it after one day. So if someone enroll an old one, they get one day to update it. We can remotely lock if that's happened after 10 days, let's go with that. And we assign it to the same group. Let's do it to all iPhone devices. And we create this one. Excellent, so we should have two right now. They haven't applied yet. Let's create the last one, a third one. Let's be something like 
it can't be uh, inactive for more than 15 minutes and then the lock screen apply. Uh, no more than 15 min inactivity before lock screen. And I think I did so long name that um, <laughs> that fits all. So let's go next. That one I think is under system security. Could it be? I think it could be. Let's require password. Yes, maximum minutes after screen lock before a password is required. Oh no, this one, maximum minutes of inactivity. Let's, we said 15 minutes, right? Let's do that and go next. Uh, I don't want them to be marked as non-compliant. If you don't have that setting for a long time, we can give it uh, 14 days and just go next. Then again, assign our group. Uh, all iPhone devices, perfect, select that. Go next. Perfect, so we have these three now. To speed it up, I'm gonna connect to my iPhone and then in company portal uh, ask for updates. Okay, we are at our managed iPhone, so I'm gonna start company portal. And let's check status. This one is not jailbreak. It have the correct OS version and well, the inactivity might not like that setting because I haven't configured that. Okay. Hopefully it got the settings. Okay. So let's go, if we go to devices, all our devices, and then go to GBN iPhone, the one we enrolled. If I here now click on the device compliance, I can see all the three at the same time. Yep. So it's not jailbroken. Perfect. It's compliant. It uh, default. Oh, it didn't apply the other one. Uh, it has the allowed OS. Oh, we just see the setting. We don't see the name. So if we went back to the the actual name that I put on them, we should see the same there, hopefully. Uh, compliance policy. And this one, let's see if this one got applied successfully. It did, compliant. So if it would not be compliant, it would say not compliant. That doesn't mean so much. Uh, but out of the box, it means nothing. Well, it's a good reporting, but you can with condition access policy say that, hey, if you're non-compliant, then we don't allow you to do certain things in our network and uh, access services. So it can be useful if you want high security, but for just reporting, I think it's good to just have a, a certain um, compliance policy to see that everyone is within the standard. Okay, thank you very much for following along this video. In the next video, we're going to create the configuration policy. See you there.